Hello everyone, we will continue the topic RFC and in the previous video, we called the RFC function module of A4X system into S4X system. But if I will run this program as of now, this program will throw me runtime error. Suppose if I am double clicking onto this function module also, this system will say this function module does not exist because this function module is in A4X system. It is not in S4X system. So as of now, system will think that this function module is in this system, but this function module is not in this system. So if I will run this program, suppose if I'm running this program, if I will give the input, system will simply, simply throw me the runtime error. It will say the function module does not exist. And it is true also because this function module is not in S4H. This function module is in A4H system. Now, how, how we will call? I already covered when we covered the introduction to RFC. Now, what we will do, I will simply, simply use the keyword destination, destination. So now I will use the word destination. I will use the word destination. Now, this particular function module is created in which system? What is the source system of this particular function module? Here, I will simply, simply put A4H CLNT 100. This particular function module is created in this particular system. Now, people will think, okay, from where I will get the full name of this particular system? Simply, I told you in the previous video, you need to go to SM59 transaction code or you can check with basis person also. Basis person will tell you. I will go to SM59 transaction code. So you can check the system. If I will go to ABAP connections, you can see the system is A4HCLNT100. So whatever the name is there, you need to pass same to same name here. Now, now system will not throw me the runtime error. Now system will recognize that this function module is in this particular system now. But I will receive another runtime error and that is fully explained in a path programming also in function module topic also. You can refer those playlists also. But now I will tell you why, why we are getting or why we will get the error. Suppose I will put a breakpoint here. Okay, rather than putting the breakpoint, I'll just go for simply run, then I will come. I will run this program. Now I will put the input one to five, suppose. I will go for okay. Now you can see the error is not coming of function module now. Previously, we got the error function module does not exist. Then we put the destination and we put the name of the system in which the function module is created. This is the way how we can call the RFC function module of another system. But now the error is not of function module. There is a error of invalid data type. Now we will understand in that debugging mode why, why this error is coming and it is fully, fully explained in the ABAP programming and modularization technique playlist. I will simply, simply go here and I will tell why this error is coming. Now, if I will put a breakpoint here, I will run this particular program. I will put the input 1 to 5. I will go for execute. 
Now I will go to desktop three. Most preferable desktop. Now, now you can see when I will double click on to this select option, you all know select option is a internal table with, with header line. It is not a internal table without header line. It means whenever we have with header line, the name of internal table is same as that of work area. Just see if I will double click here, if I will double click here, you can see this is our internal table. It is in the form of table. Now with the same name, we have work area also. If I will double click here, you can see we have the work area single record is here. Yes. Now how, how we will distinguish that which one is internal table and which one is work area. If we are using brackets, it means that is a internal table. If we are not using brackets, it means that is a work area. Now just see here, are we using brackets? We are not using brackets. So system is giving the error itself. System is saying you are passing work area to internal tables. That's why system is throwing the runtime error. If you want full clarity in a BAP programming playlist, there is a topic with header line and without header line internal table in modularization technique function module topic. I fully, fully explained this select option is a internal table with header line. It means the work area and internal table name both are same, but we must pass a distinguishing factor that this one is internal table and this one is work area. So how system will recognize if we are using brackets, then it is a internal table. If we are not using brackets, then system recognized as a work area. So we need to pass brackets here so that system can understand that you are passing the internal table. So I will simply, simply pass the brackets now. I will go to SC38 transaction port. I will go to change mode of the program. Now I will put the brackets. Now I will put the brackets here. So it means we are passing the internal table. I will check the syntax and I will activate the program. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I covered two points. Firstly, whenever we are running the program, we are getting a runtime error that this function module does not exist in this particular system. You all know very well, if we have a normal function module, this is the way to call a normal function module. But this function module is not in the system. We are calling the function module of another system, RFC function module of another system. It means we need to do the extension. You all know RFC is the extension, extension of call function. So we extended the call function. We put destination and in which particular system you created the function module. You can check the name of the system through SM59 transaction code or you can connect with your basis person. After that, we are not getting the error of now call function. With that, now the function module is existing. Now, after that, we are getting the error of data type. Why, why the error is coming? Because select option is a internal table with header line. It means work area and internal table name both are same. And I showed you in that debugging mode also. If we are using brackets, 
then SAP will consider as a internal table, else SAP will consider as a work area. So previously we are not using the brackets. So SAP considered as a work area. That's why we are getting the runtime error. So I use the brackets. Now internal table is passing to the internal table. In the next video, we will see the output in the debugging mode and you will understand, yes, we are how we are calling the RFC function module of another system. So that's it in this video. Thank you.